say it as I'm standing here. If the Lord asks me to stop ministry now, I stand by the God of heaven. I'm speaking. I know that they are recording this. I will never carry a mic again till Jesus comes. I love him more than ministry. I love him more than titles. Don't allow men clap you out of the will of God. You must sustain the grace and the hunger. Please hear me. I'm, I'm, I'm talking. This is not preaching, you know. This is not, I'm, I'm speaking from the, you know, sometimes when we see people who God has dropped his hand upon them, sometimes we need to be open like this to say this thing so you will get it. Don't let fame, fame can be deceptive. People can clap their hands, you know, when I was coming in, thank God for your wonderful protocol people. I saw everybody running around and some of you were holding cameras. I said, ah. Oh God, that great man is still your boy. Still your boy. Still your boy. He's somebody's father, but he's still your boy. He's somebody's mentor, but he's still your boy. He's somebody's role model, but he's still your boy. He's somebody's hero, but he's still your boy. The day you graduate yourself from the school of the spirit, and pride gives you an award for completion that day you begin to die immediately no matter who you are the day your knees becomes too far from the ground that is the day your crown will fall from your head i tell you this this is a mystery behind the destruction of the great this is why people start well and don't finish well it's not sin that destroys people it's not just fornication that destroys people. It's not just all these demonic things. No, the mercy of God is still there. It's the rebellion of rejecting the secret place. That's where people die. That's where people stay and are destroyed. They clap you out of his presence and you cannot die. Please listen to what I'm telling you. Because there are people, this is why you came here today. Leave, forget man of God, woman of God. Thank God for that. But it's time somewhere in this service we are going to cry before God. And say, Lord, this is no longer apostle. This is your boy. Are we together? This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. This is the place of surrender. Do to me what you want. This is the place where my life is changed. So we must pray the prayer of the psalmist. He says, search my heart. Lord, search me. I'm not ashamed of what you will find. If you find lost, there, I'm not ashamed. I will say I'm a big man. If you find lost, kill it before a generation kills me for it. If you find pride, I'm not ashamed when I stand before you. Hey, namaste, namaste. I know I'm a great musician. I know I'm a great man. But I come to you. May your all-seeing eye fetch my heart, fetch my motive. Live ministry, live preaching, live singing. Focus on me. Listen. You can be fasting as a man of God. That fasting is complete. Is almost wasted. You can go to God as a colleague trying to get one or two things the anointing for the season with your hand in your pocket let me tell you the truth you need to understand that although we are one with Christ our dominion is shared dominion not absolute dominion and there are times you need to join the 20 and 4 elders take away your golden crown and join them to lie down and cry Kadosh holy holy to carry the grace for a generation it is more than just fasting it is more than just praying it is death 
where you are not ashamed of whatever God finds. People can be clapping for you and God says no. In the last two weeks, pride is growing in you. Lust is growing in you. In the last two weeks, bitterness, you, you are, uh, no, 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 walk on it and you get down on your knees quickly and say, Lord, I'm not ashamed. What is there to be ashamed of? I beseech thee, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye offer your bodies a living sacrifice. It was Apostle John who was teaching us in 1st John chapter 2. He started from verse 15 and he said, Love not the world. Look up, please. Neither the things that are in the world. Love not the world. He's teaching us friendship with God. And he says, love not the world. He says, neither the things that are in the world. He says, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That word is the word eros. It's an affinity that can distract your passion. The jealousy of God necessitates that he becomes the object of your passion. Alone and at all times. Love not the world. The cosmos has a seduction to it. Money has a seduction to it. Fame has a seduction to it. Are we together? Every good thing has a seductive component to it. And it is only death that can immune you. Especially in the generation that we live. Please hear what? Don't pretend you are not hearing me. Oh. This is the voice of God. If you want to last. If you want to stand strong. You must forget about some of this paraphernalia of ministry and be true with God and be true to God and say, help me. Don't let, the, forget the ignorant, the people will talk about you and say things, don't mind them, leave them, do your business with God. Because when you are tried like that refiner's fire, then you will come out with a dimension of grace and glory that people will look and say, from whence come at this? And God will say, this is what I can make out of men who die. See, let me tell you this. Please look up. There are three levels of anointings. And I think I should just digress a bit to share this. We'll find somewhere to pray. Number one, there is the anointing that comes upon you as a believer. The Bible lets us know that there is an anointing that indwells a believer on account of his being grafted into Christ. Are we together now? Yes. Number two, there is the anointing that comes upon you on a 